Hello friends, good morning. Uh, I hope you must be studying very very well and with full concentration at your home and you must be sitting on your study table and uh, uh, open the biology book in front of you and chemistry, physics, everything and must be very studious because it is your prime duty to study and your parents expect something from you. And what you are expecting from us, we are giving to you. Yesterday we studied about very beautiful topic, the menstrual cycle of the female, human female. And in menstrual cycle, meiosis and uh, um, oogenesis uh, all are concerned with the 28 days and 14th day at the day is the very uh, many ovulation period when the uh, egg is uh, receptible and uh, receives the egg for the fertilization. And today we will study a very interesting topic, fertilization. The human fertilization is internal and the fertilization in frog and fish is external. So the haploid gametes combine to make a diploid zygote. Male and female gamete are haploid and make a diploid zygote and the fertilization takes place in not in uterus but in, in a fallopian tube, ampulla part of the fallopian tube. The egg after ovulation on the 14th day, it comes, it is grabbed by the fimbria of the that very uh, fallopian tube and come in the ampulla and the sperm meanwhile goes uh, through the vagina and moves to the uh, ampulla part, fallopian tube. The journey is uh, very difficult for the sperm. At a time, uh, the sperm given out by the male uh, is uh, 3.5 ml and it contains 200 million of sperms. As very interesting, this data is very good and 50% are killed by acidity of the uh, genital tract of the female. I mean, uh, uterus of the female is acidity, acidic in nature and 50% are killed. Uh, many, uh, secondly, some are killed by phagocytes. Only 100 sperms are read uh, by the movement, lashing movement of the uh, of the tail of the sperm moves toward the uh, that very uh, isthmus and uh, fallopian tube. Out of the 100, 50% are of uh, having Y chromosome and 50% are of the X chromosome uh, and there is speed of movement towards the egg is 4 mm per minute. 4 mm per minute and they are they are alive and they are viable for three days. An egg is viable for three days. Normally in two days, 14th and 15th, 16th days, it must be fertilized. Otherwise, uh, after, before 14 days and after 14th day of the ovulation, it cannot be fertilized. That is safe period for, for male and female. Then, peristaltic movements of the tube also attract the sperm towards it and the aspiratory action of the uterus and capacitation is the physiological maturation of sperm and ovulation it helps in attracting the sperm towards it and it is very interesting to note it is very good topic you study at your home from your book and you make diagrams you make diagrams you make notes i i have made notes for to give you knowledge you also make make terms and and data for you to study for multiple tests if you don't study, uh, we, you, you can't be succeed, otherwise, okay, no problem. Then, peristaltic capillary action, ciliary action of tube also. So, peristaltic, ciliary action, aspiratory action, and movement of the tail of the sperm, everything, they are very, 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 very positive for the fertilization. Huh, mind it, at the time of the fertilization, the egg is not... Uh, uh, completed, uh, I mean that is that has not been, oogenesis is not complete uh, um, and first meiosis is uh, before fertilization and second meiosis is after fertilization. And sperm is viable for 48 hours, egg is life for 72 hours, they must be fertilized in that time. And uh, a very interesting thing to note, uh, there is a fertilizing and anti-fertilizing Mm, uh, protein of the egg and sperm of the same species. The if the the egg of the human being cannot be uh, cannot be fertilized uh, fertilized by the sperm of the monkey. 
are other animals because their fertilizing and anti fertilizing protein uh, can't uh, they are incompatible incompatible egg egg have fertilizing fertilizing and uh, sperm accretion has anti fertilizing protein they collab with each other and the lysing enzyme of this head of the sperm enters uh, make pores a pore in the egg and they enter and uh, that uh, lysis of some enzyme the nucleus enters and tail remains outside of the egg and the nucleus of the male has no no cytoplasm it has only chromosome 23 chromosome in male cell 23 chromosome in the female cell and the the chromosomes are mixed 46 chromosome and we are out of the 46 chromosome in every cell the gene we got from the parents and we are we should be thankful to our parents especially mother mother gives more genes because cytoplasm has more mitochondria more mitochondria the sperm has no mitochondria and uh, then the process goes on so penetration of sperm then cortical reaction one thing very interesting very good thing there is no polyspermy in the human female egg only one sperm enters and there is a thick wall around the around the egg and no second sperm can enter no polyspermy in human female human female otherwise chromosome may disturb fusion of male gamete female gamete the copulation path is there amphinixis of the group chromosome double dna Uh, I mean, 23 DNA, 23 RNA, and then mix it. Zygote is formed, the zinc ligand is formed, and fertilization helps to make secondary polar body in female. The male in one meiosis makes four sperm, and in female, uh, one meiosis makes only one egg. The three polar bodies are destroyed, so egg is more powerful than the than the sperm. So it is very interesting. Then cleavage. Zygote undergoes cleavage after fertilization. We will study it tomorrow. You please study this chapter very well. This is very interesting. The third chapter of the first unit, and after the end of the fourth chapter, I will revise every day one chapter. I will revise with diagram. Meanwhile, you make your diagram as I have made it. You make it. You make it, please. Okay. Bye. Thank you.